out, you get together to go some locals there. Wada did it tremendously well at MSM. Honestly, winning MSM, and of course, MK Leo making out to WNF. Shout out to the oh, casters yeah, yeah, yeah. who were there at WNF when I definitely kind of peek at them. So I wish I could have went to uh, this week's WNF. It was good. I, WNF is definitely one of my favorite tournaments to go to, not only because I just love in FGC in general, but it's always great to get the vibe of like all these other great um, games out there, DVD Fighters, Tekken, Skullgirls. Uh, Dissidia next week. Yeah, Dissidia. Of course, they got a monthly tournament also it's over certain games. But we'll go out to this game that's important here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Mars going, going with the traditional Lucario strat, just losing that stock early so he gets an extra boost to his aura. I think it's an extra, like, 50 points to his aura. Yeah. I don't know what the, if what the you can make, is. Yeah, if you can make it work, it becomes a very powerful tool. And Mars is pretty confident. Just go ahead and lose the stock outright and start making the plays. Wadi, of course, rocking out the... Rosalina and Luma, of course, Rosalina and Luma was buffed last patch compared to her previous pre-patch and radiation. Yeah, um, not as good as she was against Smash Force, but still manageable. Wadi still keeping Mars in the air, trying to make him regret losing that sock. But, oh my god, he was hit at 41 and he was kissing the blast zone there. Get out of my face. Up Smash is going to take that. You gotta watch out for those up smash out of shield. I'm pretty sure Zachary made that pretty evident over yeah. at G6, right? Like it's one thing you gotta watch out against Wolf, right? I would smash out of shield. One Especially how you approach Wolf as well. Yeah, and uh, kind of crazy now. Uh, even though like his R is basically reset, he has more R now because he's more stocked down. Uh, Mars, exactly. Mars, Mars is. Oh, yeah. Carter does have kind of an underdog. Cool. Faction. Underdog boosts are broken. He has the built-in under, uh, underdog boost since Brawl, dude. Yeah. I'm not going to say. I, I treat I treat Lucario's underdog boost kind of like sparking. Except yeah. he's not healing percent. He's just honestly just doing much better overall. We'll see what Wadi has anything to do about it. One thing that I did notice is the key play from Leo Oh, Wadi. They're able to take out Zenodo just like that. Yeah, and uh, that was kind of attributed to, uh, I believe, Mars doing an up air. It looked like he threw out an up air there. I'm not sure, but... Zenodo definitely exploded there. Whoa, oh my god, speaking of explosions, Wadi gonna go off the side from the back air. Yeah. All right, nice back air from Leo there. Just gonna continue to keep Zenodo off stage. Get down here, just barely missing on the two frame. It's crazy how uh, Wolf has some setups uh, just off of uh, Raw Fair. Like, yeah. I, kinda, almost every percent. I kind of one of the buffs to the character overall, but so far, Wadi left out here by himself. He's trying to make sure he can make the play here. It all starts with how how, how he can do against. All right, nice double team. Nope, not going to be able to get the forward smash there. Sorry, Leo by himself, oh, and yeah. there it is. Mars by himself. Sorry. <laughs> we just yeah, Mars by I, lo I, lo I lost the I lost the player, but anyways, you you were looking at that. Yeah. <laughs> That must be very tilting, though. Like, well, 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 hearing Wolf's line, like, you're good, but I'm better. Yeah. That, that's something, dude. That's something else. <laughs> what else? What else? I forgot what the other line he says, but he's just like, he says something like, fools the lot of you. So he's yeah, literally yeah, yeah. calling everybody like, I was like, you're, you're beneath me. That's kind of one of the things about Wolf, right? He's kind of like that, the anti-hero, the, the space bounty hunter. He's yeah. literally, he's literally the dark side of Star Fox. So he does have the opposite where Fox is like, hey, I'm... I'm a pretty well-rounded guy, but Wolf is like grizzly. He's gonna he's gonna tell you what you don't want to hear. Yeah, he, he's the guy who has has the blunt uh, the blunt quotes. All right, gonna go back into it. Oh, Mars actually switching to ZSS. Uh, right and true from Smash Four here. I wonder how she likes ZSS in this game with all the changes that she's received. She's kind of one of those characters that's been kind of somewhat of a fan. I don't know how to describe ZSS honestly in the meta. Definitely somewhat absent. Not so much here in Soka. We do have Rival and Jump Steady here in Soka who do main ZSS, but Mars going out ZSS definitely shows that he also has some faith in the character still. Yeah. Definitely one of the characters that you don't want to sleep on because CSS still has some great stuff. I think, I think it was Mr. R this morning that posted that ZSS was probably still top 10 and then Nairo uh, replying to that post saying that ZSS was most likely top 20 for the game. So it looks like uh, some top players and uh, Nairo himself still have faith in ZSS for being uh, at least a high, high tier. We'll see what ZSS can do in the doubles manager because so far Mars doing an excellent job. Job, just honestly, living with the percents, he's definitely recognizing like, hey, I don't want to give away myself too easily. Zenodo already lost the stock here. Yeah, and 
Uh, ZS's uh, throws have changed quite a bit to the point where she just, oh my god, just fishing out that up, uh, that wolf flash with her own uh, boost kick. Yeah. They're not going to be able to get the kill. Oh, he's running up for that forward smash. Woo! Unfortunately, Lair does not get the grab armor from that one. Okay, I'll smash one that'll take it. One thing that Marius does get over Leo in this situation, as we kind of saw, like, they're both able to take each other's stocks out. He is able to edge guard Leo a little bit more effectively with ZSS versus how he was doing with Lucario. I feel like he kind of gave respect to Leo versus K9, where he was able to just go out there, yeah. read, his, read him from the far side. Oh my god, just missing that fair cost Wadi his life. The boost, uh, the, the flip kick gonna spike him into the ground. Yeah, see, this is what we're seeing from Marius. We're playing a little bit more confident against Leo with his ZSS. Again, and it's also attributed to character familiarity. All right, very nice. Wow, gonna be two, uh, two frame him with a down tilt. Very nice from Mars there. Gonna go with a fair. Fishing on the back air, he finally gets it. Down smash, not gonna connect Leo there just to save him, just in case, with the fair. I love this coverage from both Leo and Wadi. Zidato, uh, a little bit absent in, in the mix. Yeah. Zenodo definitely, Zenodo and Wadi both definitely down to the last stock. If I were a betting man right now, Leo would be looking at Mars to just take out the stock and start frustrating Zenodo because they're going to be down to the last stocks. Definitely. Especially with Zenodo at 69%. Oh my god. And Mars god. takes the opportunity to stop MK Leo from that side thing we talked about it earlier, right? <laughs> well, all, all the Star Fox characters are pretty good in their own right, but the recoveries are pretty readable. I didn't know if you noticed, but uh, Wadi and Mars had a standoff on the right side there. Just both waiting for someone to throw out an option. Wadi and Shields and, uh, and Mars just waiting to do whiff punish. Yeah. Wadi gonna go with a neutral air here. Just barely misses the fair too. Oh, down smash gonna take that. The base knockback on Wolf's uh, down smash is crazy. Like, I feel like there's no reason for it. <laughs> but the man has some range to it on top of that. Yeah. You can, you, I've, I've died at, as far as 50% uh, in some stages. Have you, seen a, have you seen the Fox video, uh, like the Wolf Fox video, where the Fox just straight up dies at 20% because he's <laughs> off stage? Well, so far, down. Wadi out there dying at 149%. Not that early percent, but Leo definitely working so far against Mars. I like what Leo did there. He went for the fair, then went for a roar back oh. there, expecting Mars to go for a flip kick, but that tech chase down smash. I like the cover-up because Leo went for a back air at the left side of the stage, yep. anticipating Mars' flip kick back oh. on. And the minute that Mars felt that it was safe, Leo was there for the tech chase against Mars. Uh, against Mars. So Leo very keen to see how Mars is going to play that situation out. Yeah, and again, Leo, one of the best players in the world currently, able to just condition his opponents, even in the, uh, in 2v2s. I mean, Leo, Leo definitely pretty good. I mean, one, one G6 in terms of the, the season for PGR, but yeah, definitely I would say Leo. Preseason, you know, we kind of saw Tweak making waves. Main season now that the PGR is in full effect, Leo, you know, taking the first place victory definitely gets him a lot of points over Tweak as we kind of saw, as we kind of see between preseason and current season of the PGR. But we'll see what things can do for doubles and Leo, of course. Leo, no slouch, has many characters to cover many matchups here. I mean, one of the best characters to use in doubles because of his kill potential and setup for his teammates. Yeah. His damage, his blaster, definitely two things you gotta watch out for. Oh yeah, we can't ignore that uh, that forward tilt. Like, what? what is that forward tilt? Yeah. Who, who designed that? That's not okay. There's only about a one frame difference between the second hit of forward tilt and the first hit, so it's pretty fast. You can also two frame effectively with it. There's like a mad disjoint on floor tilt too. Yeah. The way that, I like the way that MK Leo kind of just set up the down smash there and just being the cross up from Mars. Not only that, it gives him a low profile because of the way Wolf crouches down for that one. All right, very oh, but nice. both players being set off to the sides here. All right, I like Leo Ooh. losing the stocks. Mars almost dying because he did not attack there, but flip kick giving him enough height to come back. Wadi with the up throw, no up air, but I like the fact that he lands with the down air, trying to make sure that Zenodo holding the shield so it can land safe. He gets the up smash from Mars, still living with great DI. I like this. I, I, I like that. Smash. I don't know if Luma hit him with the up smash or if it was just Rosalina, but that that looked very sus uh, based on how Mars threw there. Yeah. Zenodo with a down throw to the back air. Both players honestly just giving it pretty even. Wadi with 26% is climbing up as Nono's working on it. We're kind of seeing Leo counter Wadi, um, Leo kind of counter MRs, and Wadi, uh, Zenodo kind of counter Wadi. So they're kind of singling each other out with their opponents. They're not playing with a very sticky team base where like you would see Leo and Wadi come together to work against Zenodo and, uh, and Mars. 
Yeah, instead of playing uh, as together as they had in the first game, they're playing a little bit more separate, a little bit, a uh, little bit more one v one. Yeah. And when it comes down to high percent situations, they start coming back together, converging to the side, so they can get the, so they can possibly secure the kill. But Wadi and Leo are not making it as easy as it seems it should be. I mean, they have no reason to, right? There's still some money in the in the line for dubs. It's a little bit of pride knowing that you can win dubs as well, especially with Wolf. All right, gets hit by that forward air. Leo making the anticipation that Zeno was going to go for some kind of neutral get up there. Unfortunately, that nail was not going to work out. Leo still hunting the heels, working on both Zenodo and Mars. Gets that back throw, sending Mars to the other side of the stage. I like the fact that he did it because that separates Zenodo and Mars from afar and yep. allows Wadi to stop working on Mars. Very nice back air. Just going to clip uh, Zenodo on his own back air starting up. Back air going to be intangible with uh, with the shield there. Going to take out Wadi's stock. Yeah, yes. Smash all with a late hit actually being able to take that. Up Smash still working like an anti-air. Yeah, a lot of moves that used to used to hit like grounded opponents uh, are are just mostly for anti-air now and don't hit grounded opponents anymore. Yeah. Like it did in Smash 4. Shout out to Leo, man. Great, great situation awareness knowing that Wado was a little bit of help there and he just went after to help his teammate. Just a uh, just a little tap can do wonders for your teammate, man. Yeah. Definitely takes talks too if you're not a well of it. All right, well, so far, both Wadi and Zenodo off the stage. Zenodo not going to go from the edge guard. He nearly just opts to go back on the stage. I kind of like the situation because he did come back to the stage. That would have meant that Mars and Le uh, Zenodo would have had Leo by himself. All right. Zenodo trying to pressure uh, uh, Leo back off stage. But he has oh, Wadi I like the tomahawk, but he missed that situation there. All right. Ooh, full jab into back air. Going to take that. That was a great setup between Wadi and MK Leo. They, they, like, how did they know?